There's a big fishy. There's a big fish flapping its fins at the bottom of the brook. I think it's waiting for someone to open the barrier. Can I? Hmm. Hey, who are you? I've never seen you here before. Nonsense. He came through here earlier today. Yeah? Yeah, together with a rabbit with weird red eyes. Well, I remember that one. I'm Jerry Hazelnut, magician in training. Magician? You? I might have bought that from your friend with the red eyes, but... Oh, why do I have to stand guard out here while you get to have fun? I've been forgetting to check my magic. All right. How about you? Hello? Hey, what? Did somebody say something? I think I have to get up there if I want to have a real conversation. Ah. Hmm. So how do I get up there? What a strange looking squirrel. He looks so daring. Like he has a lot of stories to tell. Oh yes, oh yes. I'm about to set out on another big journey. Can't do that from here. How do I get over there? Here? Wait. I wanted to see those stones, see if they were important. Oh, now I'm in the woods. Hmm. There's a little squirrel guy up there. Okay, let's go back. In Master of Deeds it says, to the cold water brook bridge, but it looks like gobbledygookies. Okay. I'd love to throw in a rubber ducky just to see how fast it floats away. Up this way to the city wall. Beware. Uh, slippery in winter. Oh. oh man, I wish I was here in the winter. Sliding down here would be so much fun. Aha, I figured it out. You can go up this way. Now I can talk to the gunner. Hello, why are you up here? I was assigned to cannon duty. We had a big crow problem here. Well, have. We even had to evacuate the town. That sounds horrible. Well, it was. So if I see one of those horrid creatures, then kaboom! Usually they fly out of the northwest. I have to keep my eyes open all the time, even at night. Paws off! The cannon has to be ready for the next crow attack. Imagine a critter like that flying right into the town hall. Again. Usually they fly out of the northwest. I have to keep my eyes open all the time. Even at night. Oh. Hello, Mr. Squirrel. Please. Everyone calls me Spitzvac. No need to be formal with me. By the way, in case you're wondering, I'm a Suslik. Oh, I, I didn't know that. The way you're packed, it looks like you're ready for some adventure. I'm an adventurer and scientist. And on my latest expedition, I will travel the seven seas to document the differences in their flora and fauna. Just look at all the maps in my backpack. The beauty of nature is manifested in its subtlest, most delightful way in these loving records. Yes, I'm on an enormous adventure, and it begins here at home, in our humble cold water brook. Oh, that sounds exciting. But why are you on your way? That much ocean must take an awfully long time to explore. Tell me about it. I wanted to complete the first leg with a traditional mousewood leaf boat. I ordered it from the Hedgehog Brothers. They are the most talented and reliable craftspeople here in the woods, you know. All they had to do was 
float the boat down the cold water brook to me. But I've been waiting here for a while now. Say, you wouldn't happen to be heading to the pumpkin patch on the edge of town, would you? If you could ask about my boat at the Hedgehog Brothers workshop, you would be doing me a big favor. No problem. I'll take care of it. Yay! All right. Hmm. Okay, can't go that way, I guess. Can I? Securely locked. All right, so let's go back this way. Now I know what to do. I have to go push the boat in the river, and then it'll float down here. And then maybe he can get on the boat and leave, and maybe we open the gate for the big fish. That's what I'm expecting, hoping, thinking. This isn't the way I wanted to go. Aha! They'll probably need something from me as well. Are you the Hedgehog Brothers? Yeah, we are. How can we help you? I'm Jerry, Magician's Apprentice. Mr. Spitzweg sent me to ask about his boat. Ah, oh, Spitzweg's probably been waiting at the catfish barrier for hours. Unfortunately, our tools have disappeared. They were brand new. I bet there's a green hat behind it. Ah, don't be silly. Our dad told us about green hats. We were four years old. Even so, they run around nicely, they're invisible, they sting tools, and they open up drafts and cause you to catch a cold. It's a fairy tale. And all those little footprints everywhere, are well, they a fairy tale too? Hmm. I'll take a look around for your tools. Thanks. That'd be a big help. <laughs> Magic eye. Oh, ah. somebody's there. A little green man with a hat. I knew it! We've had a green hat in the house after all. Ah! May the snakes take me! Dunny cats and fly specks! Hail and mud puddles! He can see me, but not if I hold me breath. Ah, but I see his footprints. What? Stop! Oh no, the thief is gone. I have to go after him. Now I got it. Oh, I see where he went. He went up here. No, I just don't fit. Instead of following the little guy, I could try to block his way. Hmm. Do I block his way from here or do I go somewhere else? That doesn't need a sturdy rate. Yeah, you're right, all right. Oh. The little man in green. There he is again. Ah, first at the hedgehogs, and now here. You've got the wrong man. I've done nothing confounded, Billy's. Ah, I mean, go to the weevil, cursed constable. He's gone again. He seemed pretty angry. They smell earthy. I like mushrooms a lot better like this than in Mum's salads. Ugh. Hmm, so he went that way. I don't know where I'm going. Okay, this is obviously not the way. Maybe he's just gonna go in a circle, maybe? And then I have to... No. No, I just don't fit. Instead of following the little guy, I could try to block his way. But with what? I've had a suspicion for a while that maybe I could use this in the pumpkin. Nothing needs to be tapped from there. No. Um. 
Something about this pumpkin is different. It's round. I can't. Oh. Okay, so we're running around trying to find and capture the little lepernome, lepernome, leprechaun guy. Don't know where he went, so he went back here and then he ran up there, but I don't know where he is now. Hmm. Hmm. So let's go walk around, see if we can find anything else. Oh wait, I didn't ever look in the round window. I don't think. Let's look in the round window here. Look in there. You can see into the town hall from here. The old squirrel, Jonathan, has already seen me. Hmm. He's waving his cane. I think he's afraid I'll climb in through the window and walk all over his books. I'd never do that. At least, not while someone's looking. Ah. Okay. Uh, I mean, we still have this dancing and young squirrel here. I don't know what to do about them. So there's two things I'm looking for currently. I'm, I need a cup to fill the coffee. And I need to find and capture the, the little gnome guy. Is it just me? Or do these statues look happy? Let's go up here. I don't remember what's up here. Oh yeah. Aha! Ha! The Shabra Ripper certainly won't find me here. There he is again. Stop. I'm standing on a shamrock. It's magic. Gives me strength. I, I can do whatever I like here. He got away again. Huh. The little man runs over the rock to protect himself, and then he disappears. Quite obviously with the help of magic. Okay. What a strange statue. The upper half is missing, and now it no longer has eyes. Okay, that's interesting. Hmm. Hmm. Just checking my thing. Somebody shirking dish duty. I'm meditating. Maybe I can do the dishes and steal a cup? Nice garden. Just look with your eyes. Hmm. Let's see what I have. Cupcake. Can I use this for eyes? The rose hips are cool, but disappoint. No. Okay. If there's anything here that's going to be too useful for me. Dunny cocks and fly specks! Leave me in peace, you brat! You'll never get me shamrock! 